As we say goodbye to NBA 2K franchise on the current gen consoles and we say hello to the next generation of NBA 2K when the next generation consoles come out, I thought it'd be a dope idea to go over the top or I should say the best 2K ever made within the last six years, man. So without further ado, let's get into it. What's good? It is your boy Bake, and I just want to say welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. If you like NBA 2K tutorials, jump shot videos, 2K news, just want to get better at NBA 2K, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on those notifications to be part of Cook Up Nation, man. We got a dope video for y'all today. We're talking about the best 2K ever made within the last six years. Before we get into that, I'm gonna give y'all five seconds to comment below. What is your best 2K ever made in the last freaking six years? Let's get it. Thank y'all for everybody who comment. Y'all know I'ma give y'all a reply because that's what I do. I'm a stand-up guy. Anyway, man, without further ado, it's time to give you my opinion, y'all. My opinion, the top 2Ks ever made in the last six years. Alright, I'ma go from worst to best. Alright. And it's gonna be going over every little thing about each of those 2Ks. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Coming in at the very worst. 2K ever, ever made in the last six years is no other than NBA 2K18. Yes, I said it. You know what I'm saying? This game was probably by far one of the worst games ever. The grind system was bad. The parks was bad. There was too many issues with the game. Just so many things broken with the game. They had the, the blow by or the snatch back cheese that was just... Oh my God, unbelievable crazy. It was like you couldn't control your player, man. And I know this was some of the years where like Duke Dennis and Cole the man became bigger in regards to their 2K uh, community and their YouTube grind. But, but by far, this by far is probably the worst game ever made in NBA. 2k history within the last six years man we ain't even want to get into my career the unskippable ass it was just bad it was it was really bad and let's just move on to the next one all right coming in at the second worst or right after 2k 18 i don't know maybe if this is a trend because the even 2ks are not always the best 2ks i don't know why that's the case but no other than nba 2k 20 man this game the dribbling mechanic was horrible uh the archetypes was just bad the paint defense was bad like even though it's a solid game it's a solid game i give you that but as far as like compared to these other games we're going to be going over doesn't compare Do doesn't compare i give them credit with the events though they had issues with puma mania that never came back um, and some events never came back after it broke. They still did a very cool job of providing some solid events in regards to just, you know, 2Ks events and things like that. But the My Career, the grind was a bit uh, kind of hot mess. The 99 overall system, no, I, that needs to go. I hope it don't come back in 2K21. But by far, NBA 2K20 was not the best 2K ever made in the last six years it was probably the second worst again this is just my opinion again you may have a different list it'd be good to see your list in the comments below but moving right along to the next worst or tier i should say of nba 2k this game was a solid game i should say it had potential i had a lot of potential and that is no other than nba 2k 9 Team. this game was cool it was a cool game it, it had some issues with the pushing it had some other things going on as far as like you know stretch bigs this the year of stretch bigs was crazy or stretch fours they was able to dribble and just shoot it was just this is the year that was just a little bit excessive with lockdowns being able to shoot and it just in the pushing i can't even forget about the pushing the pushing wasn't the uh was, was something that really broke the game and so this really hindered the game it had potential though 
it had a lot of potential the only thing too i forgot is the 99 rep system that that was trash people people hated that i hated that the grind to 99 was horrible you can get it through my career you can get it through any version of the game and so there was just a lot of things that was wrong with the game and so i can't put this at a top level elite or it can't be the best 2k ever in the last six years so i got 2k19 coming in uh at the third third spot or the third worst or whatever the case may be uh, yeah i know what i'm talking about all right man this next game that came in within the last six years in the 2k franchise was a solid game this was the evolution of 2k no other than nba 2k 14 this game by far set the standard for 2k man you know they still have a lot of quirks and whistles in this game you know with the park not working and the servers being down and things like that but just the way it played you know it had some arcade feel to it but it was just dope it was dope the way the park looked the way everything was you know what i'm saying it was the first time ever playing you know park like this um the my career was solid it was a solid my career it wasn't too crazy you know what i'm saying i didn't like the whole you know people couldn't talk you know it wasn't that best but in regards to the the evolution of 2k and where they took it from this by far was up there as you know a solid 2k game it's not the best but it was a solid entry this was the staple this is what they used to build off from moving forward within the next six years when this game came out so 2k14 is not the best but it's not the worst now these next games it's time to get to the mount rushmore of nba 2k within the last six years so coming in next is no other than nba 2k15 this is the introduction of park affiliations this is where a lot of amazing youtubers were born from fredo uh, and moving on to uh so luminati like this is the, the 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 birth of a lot of youtubers or whatever the game was probably one of the most broken game ever but it was probably one of the most funnest game ever as well. This was the year of the seven foot demigods. It was just crazy. This was where Park was just on another level. You got to be a part of an affiliation. You got to represent your, your crew or whatever I should say. And it was just fun. You know, it was fun. It, the gameplay, you know, wasn't probably the best per se. But the my career story, the rep system and just everything about this game made it fun you know what i mean this is this was really fun and so that's why 2k15 it's not the best and it's dang sure not the worst it's like right there in the middle or whatever but anyway going on to our next game this is getting down to the top two the top two i would like to know in the comments below what two games you think these games are going to be and do you agree with this list so far but let's get into it NBA 2K17 was probably one of the most funnest 2Ks ever. You got to play with different affiliations. You got to, you know, the archetype system was very linear, but they was fun. They was, you was great at what you did. If you was a playmaker, you got a lot of ankles. If you was a slasher, you got to dunk on people. Like if you was a shooter, you can make dang near anything. It was arcadey, but the movement, the, the flow of the game, the way it played, this 2K by far could have been the best. Could have been the best, and it's probably the best in some of you guys' list, but not in my list, or whatever the case may be. Because the fact that it wasn't balanced, you know what I'm saying? You had people doing some weird, crazy stuff. You did. You did. You had people doing weird, crazy stuff. The My career was a solid my career. The builds was okay, but it was fun. I, I just say that. It was fun. It was fluid. It was arcadey as hell. You know what I'm saying? You've seen a lot of crazy stuff happen but it was a good game to play that's why nba 2k 17 didn't make the best game but it was damn sure not the worst game ever made within the last six years so it's time to get into the best game ever made in my opinion in the last six years this game right here by far is probably one of the best game ever made as far as like all around build 
all around story mode, the gameplay, the smoothness of the park, the way everything was. This is what changed 2K forever, in my opinion. And it's NBA 2K16. This, though there was broken courts and you couldn't play on Old Town Flyer Court throughout the dang near whole year, like this game was probably the funnest, the most balanced. Um, it was just amazing. It was amazing. It, it like this was the game that took 2K to that next level. Like in regards to just popularism, uh, being popular, people playing it. It birthed so many YouTubers, man. So many YouTubers, dude. Like you, we can name so many, but this was the game. You had tournaments. It was just so dope to play this game because it was balanced. It wasn't super duper cheesy. It was just simple. It was simple and it was fun. And it made sense. Like builds made sense. You wasn't hitting crazy shots. You hit the shots you were supposed to hit. And sometimes you hit some crazy shots, but you wasn't just doing out of control stuff. You know what I'm saying? And this by far, I say it's the best because it was the most balanced. It had the best of everything. Best of my career, best of park experience best of everything in this game so hands down 2k16 is the best game ever made in my opinion again in the last six years 2k21 is just around the corner where would that rank in regards to the last six years of 2k's made could it be the top could it be in between or will it be trash i don't know y'all let me know in the comments below i hope you had a great weekend i hope y'all enjoy y'all saturday it's your boy beg live life stress less you're rocking one of the best without the man upstairs my life would be a mess hey cook up nation we the best peace